States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Shores. These are your daily announcements for Friday, October 14th, 2022. I'm Cohen. And I'm Mason. October is college application month. Many state colleges and universities will offer free applications during October. Congratulations to the following students for winning a gift card from the Pride Recognition Drawing. Students can stop in the LMC today to pick up the gift card. Josiah Bement, Jackson McCann, Caleb McGuire, Lauren Anderson, Lydia Ogle, Kalia Coleman, Selena Gaskill, Dorian Snook, Blake Hewitt, Grace Campbell, Anthony McDaniel, Jessica Hempville, Janiah Briggs, Danasia Wade, Brandon Sanchez, Brandon Thompson, Brady Burns, Preston Rose, Lainey Swear, Sh Cheyenne Thomas, Hossaway Vera, Demir Farnham, Logan Thompson. Also, thank you to the following staff members for recognizing these students. Mrs. Helmer, Ms. Shaner, Ms. Cook, Mrs. DeBlanc, Mr. Drosky, Mrs. Koziak, Ms. Port, Ms. Mills, Ms. Leifers, Mrs. Cox, Mr. Rosenthal, Mr. Brown, and Mrs. Hall. We interviewed Drew Hackney about going to States after his 25-0 season. It's just really cool to have our whole team be a part of the state experience. Um, and like last year when I went by myself, it was like me and then a bunch of other teams. And now to have like our entire team be able to go and like also do well. And it's just been 
really cool to have that experience this year. Only about 10 to 11 years and then competitively for like six years. So my parents played tennis and I kind of got into it by like my family and then it's just a really cool sport, something I enjoy watching, enjoy playing and yeah, just really cool. Well, it's cool, especially since like I get the chance to help the team and give the team, you know, like if um, we edge out a win like five to three, it's cool to help contribute to that and like give us a chance to go farther like this year, making it out of the regional and um, doing well at the city tournament as well as just other matches. Good luck to Drew and the rest of the tennis team at the state finals. Okay, so what's your name? I'm Mrs. Clausen, and then somebody shouted you out for a sailor shout out today for working hard and training the students for opening the Anchor Cafe, along with the students are responding and handling the expectations with confidence. We've also heard that you hit record sales this week, and also um, to keep up the good work and stop and purchase something yummy, is what they said. And then I'm just going to ask you like, how you feel about it. Well, I feel very thankful that people are recognizing all the hard work that's going into the cafe, and I could not do it for sure without the hard work of the marketing kids. They're stepping up, they're committed, and they're wanting to make this the best cafe ever. This is Sailor Country. We do everything with pride. On October 20th, the girls' swim team is hosting Swim for a Cure at Muskegon to raise awareness for breast cancer. It costs $3 for students and $5 for adults. All proceeds from the meet will be donated to Beautiful You. There is a link for the flyer on the announcements page. If you have any questions, please contact Robin Hunt, who is organizing the event in honor of her mother, Sheila Hunt. Any girl interested in playing basketball this season, there will be a brief informational preseason player meeting on Wednesday, October 26th in Mrs. Conrad's room. The meeting will begin at 3.05 and shouldn't take longer than 20 minutes. We will dis discuss opportunities, responsibilities, calendars, and tryouts. Please reach out to Coach Phillips with any questions. The next swimmer up was the theme as the Lady Turtles truly stepped it up a notch in a hard-fought win over Lennington. The team swam and dove to 17 personal records. Leading the Turtles was Holland Emick, first one, first in one meeting, meter diving, Robin Hunt, and the 500 free and the 200 free relay. Today in sports, football travels to Reese Puffer. Tomorrow, the cross-country teams travel to the GMAA tournament at Ravana. Volleyball also travels to the GMAA tournament at Reese Puffer, and swimming travels to Spring Lake. It's a high of 52 and a low of 41. That's all we have for you today, sailors. Have a freaky Friday. Welcome to my breakdown. I hope I didn't scare you. That's just the way.